I'm Bernie Deschamps. I'm a photographer from New York City, and I'm here in Berlin, a fantastic city full of great old architecture and new architecture and plenty of opportunities for great street photography. The thing I love about street photography is finding that perfect moment where everything comes together. You have the right light, you have the right subject, you have the right composition. It's all there for that brief second and then it's gone. I was passing by here on a bicycle and I saw the steps leading up to the TV tower when people were walking up the stairs. They casted these beautiful little zigzag shadows. I looked at it from a few different angles. I got down low and tried to see what it would look like if we zoomed in all the way cropped out the top logos of the hotel and stuff just to keep it all architecture, no signage or anything. When Lumex contacted me about working on this project, I thought there was a typo in the email. I thought there's no way they can fit such a fast lens into such a small package that has equivalent 24 millimeter wide to 75. But what I really thought was amazing was it has a very fast aperture uh, throughout. So it can shoot at 1.7 aperture at the wide end uh, and 2.8 at the far end. You have a great wide lens, you have a great portrait lens, you have a great low light lens. And I love this design. It's small, compact, but it has all the manual controls you'd have on a classic rangefinder. You have your aperture control, you have your shutter control, you have an exposure comp wheel right here. All of this great access to all the controls in a small little package. So now we have some sunshine, we have some people on the stairs, we have some shadows. I'm just gonna take a few shots and see what we can get. A lot of compact cameras have very, very small sensors. This has a four-third sensor, so you can do much larger prints. It also lets you crop in if you need be and still maintain a lot of detail. Take a look at that here. That's great. This was a, a kid was running and I caught the kid right on this line here. And they're, they're caught in this moment of leaping forward, but right on the, right the line. One of the things that caught my eye around here was this spot with uh, the reflection of the water. See a different view on something by looking at the reflection of it. I like doing that a lot. I've been trying a few different shots here. I'm gonna zoom in just to crop out any extraneous information. I just wanna really simplify this shot. I'm gonna go back to aperture priority. I'm gonna set kind of a deep aperture as well, another large, uh, like a F, maybe F11 just so everything is, is in focus. This one I'm gonna shoot in color. I don't think it would read as well in black and white. You have the different colors from the water and the fountain, the reflections, the blue sky, the roof of the church. And the sun's gonna shine here right now and get nice and saturated. And I'm gonna lift it up a little bit higher so we see the top of the church. Oh, here comes someone now. Let's wait a minute and Okay, that's quite nice. So I'm liking that. It's a fun play of color and shapes, abstracting the, uh, the architecture of the church. You have the stripe of this kid going across too, which is interesting. His jacket ends up being another graphic element. Looks a little bit like Finding Waldo. So here I'm going to try to do some shots of these guys skating. I'm going to set it to shutter priority mode so I can set it to a very fast shutter and capture them in the air. Maybe 500th of a second. That was great. I like that one. That was good. And it looks like the shots are the 500th of a second is really freezing the motion nice. I'm going to change it to burst mode, which gives us 11 frames per second which is great for letting you pick out the right shot in a fast action sequence. Nice. That's some kind of cool shapes going on. Nice. So it's nice the viewfinder. 
because I'm having a little trouble seeing the screen with all the light coming from behind me. You can either shoot and compose your images using the back LCD, which is beautiful and big and bright, or use the viewfinder, which is also very high resolution. It looks like you're almost looking through glass. And that's the shot. That's it. Perfect.